New tonight, a deep dive into Bakersfield's sizable Sikh community, representing tens of thousands of people. We want to start this story with a few basics. Sikh refers to the religion of Sikhism. Some well-meaning people mispronounce it to avoid sounding disrespectful, but the correct pronunciation is Sikh. This religion comes from a part of India called Punjab. Punjabi refers to the language and the people from the area. Local experts say thousands of Sikhs have deep roots not only in northwestern India, but also here in Kern County. So much so that an activist group called the Jakara Movement says Punjabi is the third most spoken language in the city of Bakersfield. Kern County's Indian American community has been growing here for decades. Most of them are Sikhs, members of the fifth largest religion in the world. So there are a number of tenants. I think there's some that have become more popularized, uh, but definitely we're rooted in a sense of community and belonging. There's the concept of seva, which is to be in service to others. It's just taking care of your community. Local experts say six aren't new to the United States. There are photos uh, of Six Link, um, some of the first railroads across the Pacific Northwest with the Chinese immigrants. Um, and so there's a really long history of Six being here as early as the 1800s. Now, the Jakara movement says 30,000 to 40,000 Six live in Kern County. Many came to the area between the late 70s and the 90s. Kind of like political aggression from the Indian state against Six. And so you see this large migration, and um, that's when uh, people kind of like my, my, my dad came to America. Many eventually settled in southwest Bakersfield. It, one, resembled Punjab. You know, there was a lot of agriculture. Bakersfield was affordable. It showed opportunity for people to settle their families here. You may see lots of buildings like these in the southwestern part of town. They're called Gurdwaras. So today uh, we are at the Gurdwara Guru Dashmesh Darbar, which is on Weibel Road. Not only a place of worship, it's also a community center um, and definitely one of the hubs for, for our community. Many Sikhs wear turbans, and they aren't useful only for beating the heat. Kaur said the founders of the religion created this tradition to help everyone in this community feel equal. That's what the turban also represents, is you are of nobility, you've been born into um, this Sikh tradition, this has been given by a higher being. Uh, this is not just for any select king, um, you know, you are all king and queens too. Beards are also a symbol of nobility, and uncut hair is considered a sign of respect for one's faith. Traditionally, sick men and women have unshorn hair. Many also <laughs> carry ceremonial knives like these, symbolizing independence and readiness to fight oppression. Kirpan, which is the, the dagger that you'll see men and women wearing. When you visit a Gurdwara, you probably won't leave with an empty stomach. All of them have kitchens. You can see volunteers getting ready to feed as many as 500 people. Your lunch. As most people visit on Sundays. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because they won't let anybody leave without eating. You may notice we're not sitting at tables. The notion of equality. Um, it's uh, we're sitting on the floor together when we share meals. Many local Sikhs petitioned the city council to change ward boundaries to unite Punjabi and Sikh voters into a single council ward. Our community wants to remain whole. They do not want their voice cut in half. Giving them the chance to elect one of their own to the council. Being kind of relocated so many times, I think a community like the Sikh Punjabi community really has appreciation for feeling um, like they are in the fabric of a community. Um, and so that's why even the map, that win was so special to folks and that's why they came out in such large numbers um, because it makes sense for them to, to feel whole in this community. And they're very excited to get to know their neighbors and they welcome you to you know some of the events that we have. Members of the Sikh community plan to hold a parade on April 3rd on Stein Road near Hosking Avenue in Southwest Bakersfield. We'll put more information on our website, kget.com.